Far Cry 4 has always been an extremely underrated game in the series for me. While it's true that the general formula is very similar to Far Cry 3, you have to consider how successful and beloved Far Cry 3 was. Why would they completely change what so many people loved about the previous game? Not only that, but with a beautiful new setting, improvements in gameplay, and one of the best antagonists in the series, Far Cry 4 is still easily one of the best Far Cry games. In fact, in my ranking video from over a year ago now, I placed it as my favorite in the series. There's a lot of things this game did right, and I hope to touch on a lot of those in this video. The first, and perhaps one of the most obvious things this game did right, was its main villain, if you can even really call him a villain, Pagan Min. Pagan had some massive shoes to fill, coming off the heels of Voss from Far Cry 3, and man I love this character. They expanded and fleshed out his story so much more in the Pagan Control DLC for Far Cry 6, but even before that, he was great in Far Cry 4. Not only is the performance by Troy Baker incredible, Pagan just has such a fun, twisted personality and sense of humor that's fun but scary to watch at the same time, but Pagan also has a level of empathy and likability that no other antagonist in the series has, or at least not to the same degree. If you like Pagan more than the main character, or the Golden Path with Amida and Sabal, you're not alone. Pagan is originally introduced as this crazy, monologuing psychopath, but there is so much more beneath the surface with his character. His connection to Ajay and his family especially is what makes him so interesting. The relationship he had with Ajay's mother and the entire story behind what happened with Mohan and what he did to Pagan's daughter Lakshmana. Pagan's story is actually incredibly sad, and I felt way more empty empathy for him than I did for Amida and Sabal, or anyone in the Golden Path for that matter. Pagan is genuinely one of the most likable villains in video games for me, and he's what carries Far Cry 4's story. He really deserved more screen time too, because a lot of his interaction with Ajay comes courtesy of the radio. Another thing I really like about Far Cry 4's narrative is just how ambiguous it is. I just mentioned how a lot of people liked Pagan more than the Golden path, and really throughout the whole story, this idea or theme that there is no good or bad side in the conflict is really enforced, especially towards the end. It breaks so many cliches when it comes to this type of story. You know, usually there's the oppressed rebellion that fights against its evil dictator, but in Far Cry 4 it puts such a real and almost human spin on that. Both sides do terrible things for what they believe is the right reasons, the characters feel real because they aren't good or bad, they're just people making choices. Far Cry has done this kind of plot quite a bit, I mean, it's essentially a similar concept in Far Cry's 5 and 6, but they don't do it anywhere near as well as Far Cry 4 in my opinion. A lot of your choices in Far Cry 4 are you just trying to choose between the lesser of two evils. Amida and Sabal both have their ways of doing things that both have their pros and cons. Same deal with Pagan. There's no real hero to this story, there's no right choice. And Ajay is just kind of the blank slate you're supposed to fill in with these choices. There's a lot of layers to this conflict, and you realize on many occasions that the Golden Path isn't that much better or more honorable than Pagan's regime. Another huge positive to Far Cry 4 is its open world of Kirat. Still easily my favorite open world of the series. First of all, what an awesome location for a Far Cry game. The backdrop with the Himalayan mountains, the culture, design, and layout of the world. You have all sorts of temples and shrines scattered throughout. It's so beautifully designed and incredibly immersive. And the graphics, of course, hold up insanely well. This game will be a decade old next year. Like, Wh what? A decade old. This game blows my mind. The world is filled with dangerous wildlife and plenty of your typical Far Cry activities with little side quests, outposts, radio towers, and even fortresses which are like these supercharged massive versions of the outposts that are tons of fun to clear out along with the really enjoyable Shangri-La missions. And if you've seen any of these videos I've made for the Far Cry games before, you know I love when they include 
include the option to let you replay the outpost. In Far Cry 4, it's known as Outpost Master and allows you to replay any outpost you've cleared, including fortresses, as many times as you want, which is great for general replay value. And since clearing outposts has always been my favorite thing to do in Far Cry, I really appreciate it when they include stuff like this. And speaking of great replay value, Far Cry 4 also has the phenomenal map editor and browser, which I can't believe they still didn't include in Far Cry 6. This allows you to create or play on maps made by players from the community with all sorts of creative modes and ideas. These kinds of modes give the game way more replayability and a lot more to do once you finish the game. This was in Far Cry 5 as well, known as the arcade, and again, for some reason, not included in Far Cry 6, which is a huge loss in my opinion. Like I said before, Far Cry 4 wasn't too different from 3 in terms of gameplay, but it did make some really nice changes and additions when it came to weapon customization and progression. A lot of the guns in Far Cry 4 became fully customizable with different attachments and skins, along with the more powerful signature weapons which are a lot of fun to use as well. Like I said at the start, Far Cry 4 has always been such an underrated game to me. I love the setting and atmosphere, Pagan as an antagonist, and the improvements they made in the gameplay. It's a great game all around, and one that often gets overlooked since everybody is always talking about Far Cry 3 as the definitive best game. Which don't get me wrong, Far Cry 3 is great, but Far Cry 4 has always been my personal favorite. It doesn't mean it's a perfect game, I'll go over some of the flaws it has when I talk about what the game did wrong, but in the meantime, let me know down in the comments what you feel Far Cry 4 did right and why, and where the game ranks among the rest of the series for you. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, and considered subscribing to the channel if you're new. I also have a channel membership if you're interested in joining for special perks, the link for that is in the description, and other than that, thanks for watching, and have a good rest of your day everyone.